what's up everybody welcome back to the channel you can see uh i got these led uh tail lights laid out for my uh, mark one tt i had these on the car a long time ago and i took them off uh because uh, I, I do like the stock tail lights but i want to modify my stock tail lights and i did on my stock tail lights i i bought the spoon fed tuning seals for them polished them and everything and right when i went to put them on the car i go to push it on and one of them cracked so i was like oh man so i just i just left it man so anyway uh I had these laying around and I thought to uh, try something because uh, when I first put these on the car, one day I was uh, in traffic, one of my friends saw me in traffic and they were behind me and they said, yeah, the tail lights look good, but you could hardly see the brake lights. So if you look here. Let me uh, open this actually. I, I took them apart and cleaned them because the inside of these got real dusty. But this, these are the, the LEDs right here for the lights, and then these are for the signals and the uh, and the uh, reverse light right here. But these are what are dim on them, so they have a cover. This cover that goes over it. So I was thinking maybe if I take these covers off and see how bright they are, I'll probably be okay then. So I, uh, this is them right here and I got this, you can see how bright that flashlight is, but now watch me put this over it. That's how much it dims it out. And this is actually a very bright light. As a matter of fact, I could turn the brightness up just by holding it. See the intensity going up now, look. And you can see how many LEDs that has. So you could imagine in traffic with light shining on these, it's going to, you know, the light, you know, the daylight is probably going to mute them out and probably make it not as safe. So I ended up taking them off the car. So uh, what I'm going to do today is you can see I took them apart already. I'm going to try these on the car. And with one one of the lenses off and one on to kind of compare them to see how they look. And then I'm going to go from there. I got to put all this back together because, uh, like I said, everything was real dirty. So I took them apart and cleaned the lenses. I'm going to have to glue these back together. So I'm just going to put this back on here and probably put some tape around the edges so you guys will see that because I'm doing the experiment. So I'm not sure which way I'm going to go. But uh, let me get these on the car and we'll see how they look. All right, you guys, I got them on the car. I got my nephew, Josh, out here to help me. All right, Josh, uh, turn turn the uh, switch on, the headlight switch. You see, you can't really tell on either side, but you can kind of see the LEDs on, on this light. So you can't really see that one at all but this is this would be like the uh the nighttime running lights anyway so it just lights the outers so that would be fine actually you could see the ones on this side real good but this one is kind of faint because it kind of that lens kind of diffuses the light so it's but even on the stock ones you could kind of tell they're on but not really well yeah you can tell they're on but then even with them off, you could kind of turn them off real quick. Turn it off. off. Yeah, see, this side, you couldn't even really tell that they were all on or off. Turn it back on. Yeah. All right, hit the uh, brake pedal. Yeah, see, see how these lit up without the lens? Where I took the lens off right here and this you can't even really tell that they came on. And that's what my boy was talking about. Hit him again a few times. Oh yeah. See, without the lens on them, night and day difference, man. So I might do that. 
hit him again. I want to see how the uh, other side looks. See the other side, you can't really tell that much either, though. Actually, uh, it looks like the LEDs on this one stand out more, but that's probably because they're behind a darker background. And then you can see here, I put a, a I put a, a real super bright LED in here a long time ago. And I, I see a lot of TTs that this light is always out. They never replace the bulb. I don't know if they're doing it on purpose or they just don't know. And then I put a, I put some uh, LEDs in the reverse lights too. And this is where I, where I crack them. I put the seals on and they crack. Hit the uh, hazards so we can see the blinker. I think I don't even have the LEDs in the stock light, just on that side. Then this one, it's like, it depends on how you're looking at it. You can see it, but it depends on how you're looking at it. It's like they could have made the uh, the blinker LEDs brighter on the LED on the left side tail light. You see when I get up here, you can tell, but it's not as apparent. Whereas the stock ones, you could tell, you know, from all angles. Hit the brake lights again. Yeah, and then that, of course, that upper third brake light helps a lot too. I think I, but I do have another set of the stock tail lights and I had bought new seals for them a long time, but I just never got around to doing anything to them because the car has been sitting so long. So I think what I'm gonna do is uh, I might put these on for now without those inside lenses on them. And then I'm gonna uh, modify. What I'm planning to do on these is I'm gonna put some sequential LEDs in here. So they sweep when the turn signal's on and then I'll probably put brighter LEDs in here too. And of course the uh, reverse light already has it. Put it in reverse. Yeah, reverse. <laughs> All right, just uh, grab the stick. Uh huh. Come over to your left. All the way over to your left. You got to kind of push down. No, not back. To your left. Kind of push down and then forward. All the way to the left, down and forward. Let me see. That might be it. Here, let me see. <laughs> so you got to do like this you want to push down all the way over then forward and that's reverse on these cars and yeah, you can see the LEDs on both but the LED in this one is brighter because that one has a bigger reflector but I put a different LED in that one too um, I forget the name of the company. If I remember, I'll put it up on the screen. They have real good LEDs. But all right, y'all. I'm a. Uh, oh, let me show you guys one more thing. I finally went ahead and uh, polished the headlights. Because <laughs> everybody in the videos, every video I put up, everybody was like, man. Polish those headlights, man. It's really bothering me. So I was, I was always like, I'm gonna get to it, I'm gonna get to it. But and I had sanded these down actually before, sanded them all the way down, polished them real good. But the car sat for so long. And you can see I put the angel eyes in there and I put a, a bright LED in the turn signal. But now because I, I have a orange on the uh, orange on the uh, brakes I think I'm gonna put a like a bright orange uh, LED light in here in the uh, in the bottom so it's more orange because it's a super bright white one in there now so it makes it kind of yellow I'm gonna put an orange one in there but uh, I think one more thing I'm gonna do for you guys is uh, when it gets dark 
I'm gonna come back and do the light demo again so you guys can see how they look at night. Yeah, but it's looking like this is gonna solve, take, leaving these lenses off is gonna solve the issues for these. And I think for the uh, stock tail lights, I do like the darker cherry red. I think that would look good on the stock tail light. So I might see about getting these wrapped with a darker cherry red. And uh, the only thing is I wouldn't want to cover the uh, reverse light. Those bright LEDs in there really do help at night. So when it gets dark, I'll come back and uh, film some more for you guys. All right, you guys, nighttime. I lost my helper, so <laughs> he had to go do something. Get my son's out too. So I'm gonna try to do this by myself the best that I can. Let's see how they look. Let's see if the camera will pick it up. See on this side, see that inside one? How it's kind of dark in the middle because the brake light isn't on. But the uh the other one without the cover is it's pretty bright. It's a real sharp because you know it's LED. And of course the right side is just perfect. The stock lights are perfect. Uh, let's see how the brakes look. looks way brighter on camera than it does off a of camera that's where I can put it but it's like this is how it should be looking during the day almost but you saw early even during the day you could barely see it and these are just real sharp so that you know without the cover on it is way better but see with the stock lights they're still, they don't get that much brighter when you hit the brakes. I've noticed that uh, during the day too. That's the only thing, but of course the uh, stock lights just go with the car. I mean, the round, the rounded look and everything. And these are trying to make it look like the um, Mark II TT. I mean, they're not bad. I mean, some people like them, but I think I think that's probably why I end up switching back to the stock lights because I like the look of the stock lights better on this TT. It's just uh, if they could have done like a, a different background on them or something, still red, but more like of a chromish red or something like these, and like a darker red on them would have been perfect on these. I think. Let's see the. Uh, See the reverse light. Yeah, the driver's side is way brighter. But that's because I got a different uh, bulb in there too. The bulb I put in these are from, uh, the company is called DDM Tuning. They're out here in uh, California. They got a place in uh, Huntington Beach and a few other places. But you can look them up online too. And uh, they have like a lot of good options and they have HIDs and everything and kits. They have some real good HID kits and LED kits. Uh, but the bulb I put in here has more LEDs in it to diffuse the light better off of the reflector. Where this one has one coming directly off the front and in like one or two sections on the side. So it's not as bright. So probably switching to, to a different bulb on these would be good too. But that's why, because the rear visibility on this car, that's why I switched to the uh, different LED on the factory light. Oh yeah, you can 
see a little bit better from this angle. Yeah, but I think what I'm gonna do is, uh, like I said, I have another set of lights and I'm probably gonna open them up and uh, put the uh, sequential LEDs in the turn signal and then maybe put some LED bulbs in there. Like in this part, right here I have the uh, stock bulb for the running lights and then you can see this one is like super bright. I got that one from like DDM tuning too. That was the brightest one they had. I think it's a P194 bulb. And like I was saying, a lot of people don't even change it. They just blows. I think a lot of people don't even know it's there actually. So, uh, I don't know. Like I said, I like the stock lights better to, to go with this car. It just looks way better. But the whole design of the car follows the design of the inside, the, the round knobs and everything. So stock lights look better, but these are cool too, depending on how you're styling your car. You know, what type of body kit and everything you got on there. But I think what I'm gonna do for now is, uh, like I said, that light is cracked. Oh, and when I took the other stock light off of this one, the little part that uh, that notches in, matter of fact, let me show it to you. Little part that, uh, where is it at? There's a part that goes right there. I can't find it now. I got too much junk in the trunk, I guess. But uh, that part just broke just now. I mean, earlier when I was taking this light out. So, my, like I said, I might go ahead, since that one broke too, I might go ahead and put the LED lights on for now while I uh, fix the other tail lights that I have, putting the seals on them and putting the uh, LED, sequential LEDs and stuff in them and look into uh, maybe having them wrapped with a uh, uh, darker red tint. And I saw some uh, tail light tints that have like a, a, a hex mesh design in them. And I looked again, but I didn't see anything with like the, just the dark red with the hex mesh design. But I'll look again to see if some other companies have them. But anyway, y'all, uh, I just want to show that because I know some people like these lights and they're probably not aware of how the uh, the brake lights perform, especially during the day, which could be potentially dangerous, especially if your uh, third brake light isn't working. But this is a solution, taking opening them up and taking that cover off. So, but anyway, uh, got some more stuff coming up. Uh, what is this? This is Friday right now so i looked into putting the uh i looked at the uh the harness for the uh, wide band and i got in touch with matoza again i found my old instructions from unitronic actually and it seemed like it's a real easy hookup there's only two actually only one that you have to depin and and repin with their harness if your car has vbt but since my car doesn't have VBT, there's one more that I have to pin to, uh, you know, so my so the ECU won't be looking for VBT since this car didn't come with VBT. But they're uh, in the same harness on the ECU, so shouldn't be too hard. It's just getting everything and how you have to route the harness and everything. And, I, and the, actually, the instruction didn't say anything about, so I'll have to figure all that out. But uh, I'll probably be doing that this weekend to uh, so I can start tuning next week, hopefully by Monday. And then, uh, but I do have another video coming for some stuff for the interior. Some stuff I'm gonna add, some stuff I've been looking for for a long time. And then there's a product too that I think every TT owner needs to know about from a company I just found, so. I'll be putting that, probably putting that video up next and then, you know, going from there. But I'll uh, leave a like, comment, subscribe. I want to thank you guys for watching.
and I will see you guys in the next video.